Welcome back. As you're noticing in the ingredients, there isn't a particular amount of measurements as to how much to put. That's because it all depends on how much okras you like and how much of the yard beans, or as we Trinidadians would call it, bodhi, and the other spices and herbs. It all depends on how much you want. In this recipe and ingredients, you didn't see me add salt because my chicken was seasoned previously with a lot of salt. So let's get into the ingredients here. So all of the ingredients I'm going to take and put in my food processor and mince it as smoothly as possible. And again, it all depends on how much you want in your seasoning and how much of the vegetables you want. It all depends on your palate. Everybody's palate is different. So once minced, I am going to preheat my pot. I'm going to add a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of unsalted butter and mix them in together and then I am going to cook all what we just minced in the food processor. And once that is done, cook to your satisfaction. We will let it cool and then add it to our chicken. You would see it getting a bit slimy. You're sure the okra is doing its thing. So you're going to make sure and cook the okra and the booty properly. Let the bell for news. Now we are taking our pre-seasoned chicken breast and we are going to add our cooked vegetable and we are going to use those skewers to secure it. So I'm going to add a fair amount but making sure I don't over put especially close to the edge because we don't want too much oozing out while it's baking. And when this okra and bodhi was cooking, I didn't add any salt or any liquid whatsoever. Just the oil from the coconut oil and the butter and adding the vegetable and that was it. My chicken has a lot of seasoning so that will also help season the vegetable while it's cooking. So now everything is properly well secured and I'm going to place this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes. We don't want to overcook this meat and it becomes rubbery and we'll continue after this. <laughs> Now I am going to take it and wrap it in a piece of foil. I am going to wrap it loosely because we don't want the skewers to bore any hole and let any of the steam out. So as I'm showing, I'm turning it around to show you that the skewer haven't bore any hole around it whatsoever. So it is perfectly well secured. So 20 minutes later, you can see all the natural juices from the chicken and all the juices have also flavored the vegetable inside so let me give you a quick look of what it looks like inside and you see how it have stayed perfectly well sealed nothing has oozed out of it so all of that juicy goodness from the chicken and the seasoning from that chicken that was perfectly marinated for like 24 hours that again, that's why I didn't add any salt in cooking the vegetable. The more you maintain a proper balance of sodium, you can control so much with your weight. So that is what I'm trying to do lately. The less is more when it comes to sodium. So I'm showing you what it looks like inside. So this basically got two set of cooking it gets somewhat of a steam cook while it was baking and then we cook it on the stove top so all the salt and all that juiciness from the chicken has gone into that vegetable and it is extra delicious note if you wish to add salt you can all in moderation again this recipe is all about your palate and what you would like how you would like it so enjoy <laughs> 